This is like 3D scanning. Just don't move at all for 30 seconds. <laughs> we started three years ago. Uh, well, four years, I did about a year of research before officially incorporating the company. We had our third birthday on Monday. Um, I wanted to get a bit of a friendly face to the 3D printing industry and it was kind of before this media boom that came out and then everyone's got excited and I saw lots of lots of companies who were offering 3D printing but I didn't really know what it was other than what I'd read in other things. Their websites weren't generally that helpful uh, and I wanted to make a bit of a, a difference, like bridging the gap between the consumer and the uh, 3D printing uh, industry, uh, so to speak. Um, little did I know that everyone else was going to start doing that <laughs> about a year later. but. We kind of got in just before the bubble and yeah, I managed to get the, the company known 3D Print UK, which has met with top of Google since day one and it kind of had a, yeah, the uh, lion's share of inquiries, which is not necessarily a good thing because there's some weird things people ask, but yeah, it really, it was, yeah, it's been a really good, exciting journey over the last few years, yeah. And this is our third year now, we have, we've been here for all of them, basically. Um, first one was exciting because I was in a dark corner and I had one table and a TV in front of me and it gave me such a great excuse to buy a big TV. Uh, and then, yeah, the next year we went to um, Angel, uh, the uh, Business Design Centre, and our standard doubled. And this year again, it's doubled again. And now we've got members of staff, which is great. <laughs> like, I can sometimes take a day off and not worry too much. <laughs> For the show, um, I like seeing um, how things have moved or how things haven't moved. Sometimes you can see like the, the same technology being demonstrated again year on year, but you see different uses of it. And it's all, yeah, there's always a little bit of excitement when you see something you didn't expect. And that's kind of what you get from, from this show. You get, the, you get the thing you weren't expecting is the thing you enjoy the most, I think. I've got to admit, I've not seen a massive change over the last six months of knickknacks. There are, there are lots of cool um, and very exciting medical advances. You know, the, the, the Robo Hand Project, that's, that's awesome. Um, but it's, it's, it's often marketed as you can, you can buy a 3D printer and do it at home. You've got to remember there's a lot of work that goes into this from, from people who know what they're talking about to do it. To the, but for them to then give the availability for someone to have a printer to print that off at home, that's awesome. Um, it does sometimes give people a bit of false hope, I think, over the fact that they think that they can, because they can see something being printed, that they'll buy a printer and they'll be able to make it. You've still got to design stuff. But what 3D printing is doing is it's getting people who are who are natural designers, it's giving them the ability to be able to design and develop a product when they didn't have that before. Now, it, if you're going to buy yourself a 3D printer, you're going to be one or two people. Someone who's going to use it all the time or someone who's going to buy it because they want a piece of technology and then they work out, they made a few napkin rings and it goes in the cupboard. But the person who buys it and then goes, you know what, I'm going to use this for making cool stuff for my house, I'm going to invent things and you know, that's, that's, that, that's the forte of 3D printing and that's where it's going to be very exciting.